I think one of the key drivers should be recovery of the economy. And uh, due to all the turmoil, I think that has been a little bit less optimistic than I thought uh, in the beginning of 2014. Uh, with all these particular rulers who have their particular ideas about uh, uh, their politics and how to behave. So I think that will set us a bit back. On the other hand, uh, money is very cheap. Uh, we see again that there is more money available. So that will probably bring prices up or yields down. And that happens already today. Uh, the, m the question is, how far that will continue and uh, what I dislike at the moment in our market it is everybody is following each other again so we make each other a bit crazy again and uh, that is not the good way to deal so when do you say no and when do you say yes uh, particularly if the leverages go up again we see that opportunistic buyers take a higher leverage again and they can get the money for it so we uh, as banks maybe are getting a bit nuts again maybe so particularly uh, i would say go to markets where not everybody is just to follow up on that uh, we've been a beneficiary of some uh, um, growth in poland since 2007 accumulated uh, growth of over 40 percent gdp and on the back of that uh, we see a lot of new investors coming into poland especially um, what's challenging for, for somebody like us, a developer, that partner up with these funds is the return expectation. So you have a lot of opportunistic money um, looking at 15% returns and, and north of that. Um, but some of these markets have become quite core. So while the story is quite, quite good with the growth and even growth going forward, um, it's, it's going to be quite a hard, uh, hard job to, for some of these folks, especially that are new to the market, to generate these kind of uh, returns, unless they get into the development, I guess, unless they get into the revitalization of existing shopping centers, which uh, a lot of people are looking at, so you're getting into bidding wars as well. Again, uh, kind of pushing down on the returns eventually. And, and, and let's not forget there's nothing wrong with a good old-fashioned bidding war. Um, <laughs> um, I think YAP actually covers quite well the part of the story, which is the, the freeing up of the debt markets the increased availability of debt, but more importantly when we're talking about retail, the ability to be able to transact with one bank on a large shopping centre deal instead of having to pull those resources, which we were doing two or three years ago, is very important. But the other side to that coin is the, the amount of equity really is, is quite astounding at the moment and the diversity of that equity is also very broad. And I think, yes, there are a number of the intra European funds that I think we've all learnt to live with and we work well with and some of us work for. Um, <laughs> but also, we've got the more experienced North American capital, but within the retail space more and more, we're seeing the introduction of the Asian capital, whether it's via European fund managers or um, even directly. That increase in capital in the market will be one of the drivers that keeps cap rates low at the moment and potentially could make them go even lower in 2015. And this is because of the, their, their expectations of returns? <coughs> we live in a very low, low growth environment at the moment. If you think of alternatives with your money at the moment, is it a bad job that your pension fund manager is doing when he puts your money in a 5% product? It's probably not when you compare it with other investment vehicles. So. I think the bigger question for 2015 is, is this the new normal? Is this what we have to be prepared to accept for the coming years?